Deadly wildfires tore through California's wine country nearly three months ago. Now, areas like Napa and Sonoma are left to rebuild, but Napa is no stranger to tragedy. Three years ago, a confrontation between an entrepreneur and a Silicon Valley investor led to violence and bloodshed. Tracy Smith investigates the murder story for tomorrow night's 48 Hours. Nine one one, where's your emergency? He calls nine one one and he's yelling into the phone, "Help me! Help me! He shot me!" This is the actual transcript yes. from the nine one one call. Yes. So he's running through the vineyard. He is running through the vineyard, and the shooter is in the truck, coming after him, shooting out the window. This is crazy, crazy. Who are these guys? These guys were a couple of rich, ambitious wine lovers who wanted to be in the business and own their own vineyards. Look, I have pictures. Here's Imad, Imad Tofilis. He's a smart guy from Silicon Valley who loved Hollywood. He even financed a movie. And here's the other guy, Robert Dahl, an operator who people said could make money grow on trees. In this case, vines. Was he a good salesman? A oh, great salesman. Great oh, he could sell anyone <laughs> stuff. Robert Dahl came from Minnesota, where he ran a decidedly unglamorous mold removal business. He really did have the vision of having some form of a winery. He moved with his wife and three kids, and he hit the ground running. He started with a wine bottling company, then part ownership of a vineyard with this man, and then a brewery with Greg and Francine Knittel. When Dahl wanted the ultimate Napa prize, his own vineyard, he turned to that Silicon Valley investor, Imad Tofilis, the money man with ties to Hollywood. Take one, Amar. Tofilis put in more than a million dollars, a bag of it in cash. Soon, there was Dahl Vineyards. Welcome to Dahl Vineyards in lovely Yampa, California. This but it wasn't long country. before things turned sour. No one that ever put money into something that he was doing was ever going to get anything back. Dahl was making wine. Money was vanishing. It turned out Dahl had been conning everyone all along. His contractor, his winemaker, his co-owner at the vineyard, and his partners at the brewery. But when he conned that millionaire Hollywood investor, Imad Tofilis, the whole game came crashing down. Who lives? Who dies? It's an incredible tale of wine, money, and murder. 48 Hours correspondent Tracy Smith joins us now from Los Angeles. Boy, you know how to grab our attention. That's a real tease. You gave us a little snippet of that crazy rolling shootout. What happened with that? You know what I'm going to say. You have to watch <laughs> on to Saturday watch. night you to see something. the whole thing. But just imagine there's this flashy wine entrepreneur and then this kind of quiet Silicon Valley businessman. Somehow this wine entrepreneur con convinces this businessman to show up in Napa with $800,000 in cash in a gym bag. And it all devolves and they end up running through a vineyard and shooting. Wow. I mean, it's, it's just incredible, Tracy. And these are two successful, wealthy guys. I think what people are going to be curious about and why obviously they should watch 48 Hours is how does it end in murder? Money. Money. You know, as one Napa local told me, money is intoxicating. And when you mix money and wine, you get intoxicated to the second or third power. Mm. Indeed, Tracy Smith, we are looking forward to it. Thank you so much. Thanks. You can watch the full 48 Hours Report, Grapes of Wrath, tomorrow night at 10, 9 central on CBS.